Hey guys, Chips here. Welcome back to the channel. I got kind of sick of playing ranked mode, uh, playing rampage mode and all that. So now I'm going to try to play in standard mode. Um, I think I tried playing standard mode once before and from what I understand you drop all your loot when you die. Uh, something funny I do want to try while we're here. I want to unlock the bear trap. Where is that? Oh, there it is. So yeah, I want to unlock the bear trap and make a few of these and see if you can place them outside of bases, like away from your base, to see if we can't do some funny stuff with it during the series, maybe. Ah, so same old, same old, jump down the five trees and we'll get started on the base. I'm not really sure the location I'm going to pick right now. My main uh, need is going to be like a dismantler, and maybe, maybe a dismantler where you don't need a gas mask. I almost forgot, if you get the sponsorship in this, um, every time you join a new server you can claim the pack and you get to claim that pack for the gold bit. When you claim the other pack you get all that stuff you see on the left, the kitchen knife, the pacemaker, the food, all that stuff. And it's bound to you, so you can't lose it if you die. Which kind of makes it perfect for standard mode when you think about it. So I'm going to try not to waste them as much as possible because it's really handy to go out with an axe and make sure that you're not going to lose it when you die, you know what I mean? It's just handy. Uh, this is the last tree. Might as well get a bit more for the cabinet than that. Also got to keep an eye out for nettles and creatures to make gas as soon as possible to make the uh, furnace as soon as possible. Now I don't know what your experience has been like in Steam, but the few times I have tried it, it's been pretty toxic. Including one time I had a base built on me. And I had no choice but to self free and jump all the loot. Speaking of toxic, looks like we're getting pulled up on already. Imagine how toxic you have to be to go that hard on someone that has nothing using M4s. Anyway, so uh, I decided to go out to the trading post and just put this furnace down. Um, I'm gonna upgrade this base up to stone for now and then try to do it up to metal later. Alright, so just a little bit down the road, there's, there's a shop down here. I'm just going to check this out because sometimes you get like four or five bases and just camped out the back of this thing. I think like nearly every time I've come to this one it's been a toxic engagement. <clears throat> but I don't see any builds back here so far. Boxes are still here, that's good. Green card's still there. We're kind of full of loot to be honest, we might need to scrap some. I get some ammo for a gun I don't have yet. You know, if we move the base up here, we'll have a constant supply of food and water. That's in there. Just take this out. But yeah, we'll have a constant supply of food and water, a good place to scrap, and I'm pretty sure from memory there's decent materials around here to start our base up. You know, that's what we might do. I might uh, put it back at like the very back of the desk. Alright, so we got a temporary base going. I'm going to just put down um, a cabinet here. Then I need to go get fuel to make another furnace in that. Then we'll make, um, make a low bench in that. I'm going to have to go move all the other stuff up from the other base anyway, but... For now, I'm just going to focus working on this one real quick, and it's going to be cheaper because it's going to be all doors, and yes, I'm aware that doors are weak, but they're also incredibly cheap to get the steel, and I just don't want to blow them up. Alright, we got the base fully to stone, it's pretty cheap, it was only like 2,200 stone, which wasn't really that hard, but yeah, we just hit the scrap machine right now, just trying to get some metal to get the locks for it, so I think, um... If I remember there's like four, five, six, seven doors on it. It's only seven locks, which you know. It's 
like 50 lock. Is that really the same car coming past? <laughs> this man says out here hunting. Alright, well I'm done scrapping anyway. Man, lucky I wasn't standing at the dismantle. He would have definitely seen me. I guess that's what these people are going to do for this entire server. Just roam around in cars looking for people to hunt. That's going to be interesting. As soon as I get an M4 and uh, some decent armor, we'll, we'll see how they go hunting. Now, I have no time to worry about them either. i got to go back to the other base and grab all the materials and stuff out of that. And um, make a low bench over here. And start working on this one. Cook up some materials and that too. I want to get it to steel as quick as possible. Alright, we're almost at the first base. Just heading back in to get materials. I stayed off the road a bit because I guarantee you if I go on the road for too long, that car's pulling up again. I don't have much to lose in me right now, but it's still annoying. I think it's for the best to move to the shop anyway because finding a gas mask right now is a pain in the butt. Not to mention I'd have to find a few of them so I have spares in case I do get stopped by the people in the car. And then I lose the gas mask and can't go into the locations. I think the smartest thing you can do um, in situations like this is just try to get scrap. Keep it in your cabinet. And then um, <clears throat> go down to the trading post and buy yourself like M4 and then loan that M4 and buy the iron armor, loan the iron armor yeah oh you're kidding me, look that car's going past it again I told you, they'd be trying to hunt me I might even as early as just getting a double barrel shotgun or a shotgun, I might start fighting back on them guys. As I guarantee they play like that, they're probably trash toxic players anyway. Like the last ranked map I played, I had the same toxic dude, just every time I seen him he'd try to kill me with the jewelies, and I ended up taking him out with a single barrel shotgun, took his still armor and that, he was incredibly pissed. Shotguns are good, I mean like you can just jump up and quickly shoot and it, it takes less reaction time to shoot a shotgun than when you're sitting there with a fully automatic weapon trying to make sure you ping every shot to kill them. However this one does have an M4 and a buddy so this might be a bit more of a challenge than just using a single barrel on him. Oh well I'm just grab all this stuff anyway and uh, take all the stuff out of the cabinet and Head back to the other base. Okay, we're almost back. I didn't see anybody on the road or anything. So I think we're in the clear. Um, I'm pretty sure they know where this base is, but I've seen them drive past here when I was sitting up there scrapping. So that's something we're going to have to look out for. But for now, I'm going to just chuck block codes on everything I can, um, top up the furnace, and then it's just going to be a waiting game now because I have to get the materials up. I want to do the base before I start working and trying to go out and get a gum. Because there's no point in where you can put it. It's just going to get raided. Alright, so this has been day one of standard mode. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and all that good stuff. And hopefully when I come back on, I haven't been raided. And I can use all the materials that's cooked to go up to iron, and then we'll go get steel. And get guns, and have fun in this mode. Also going to get bear traps, like I said, I really want to do that. Just to see if we can't mess with some people, get them to drop some gear, without even having to try too hard. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Hopefully I'm still alive.